Hello again, my name is Gabe Zona. This is the 13th of February, 2019. Just read an interesting article. It was published on by Fox News on the uh, 12th of February, 2019. Written by Barnini Chakaraboti. That's C-H-A-K-R-A-B-O-R-T-Y. Title. California to pull plug on billion dollar bullet train sites ballooning costs and there's an embedded video it's two minutes and 14 seconds in duration. California Governor Gavin Newsom announced on Tuesday is pulling the plug on the state's massive high-speed rail project from Los Angeles to San Francisco that was more than a decade behind schedules and billions in the red. Quote, let's be real, Newsom said in his first State of the State address, the current project as planned would cost too much and respectively take too long. There's been too little oversight and not enough transparency. Hey, Newsom, whose fault was that? Huh? Huh? <laughs> Might that have been Governor Jerry Brown's fault? Huh? Newsom added that while California has the capacity to complete a high-speed rail link between Merced and Bakersfield, there simply isn't the path to get from Sacramento to San Diego, let alone from San Francisco to LA. The title of the video that I'm going to post this in is, It Looks Like the Do California Fires Might Not Have Been Necessary. There's a lot of speculation that those fires were caused to clear the land where that rail line was going to go through. The embattled 77 billion bullet train has been an embarrassment for the Golden State and has plagued by problems almost from the start. The idea, long championed by Newsom's predecessor, Jerry Brown, is years behind schedule with the latest estimate for completion set for 2033. <laughs> bullet train planners have been under increasing pressure to make progress on the system that many believe had no plausible way of living up to its goal of getting riders across the state in three hours or less. California voters approved the pricey proposal in 2008. Backers, including several Democratic lawmakers, heralded it as an inventive concept that would connect Californians and transform transit policies down the road. But critics claimed the bullet train project was a waste of time and money. The so-called bullet train is a solution in search of a problem that is plagued by billions of dollars in cost overruns and fiscal mismanagement. San Diego Councilman Mary Kersey told Fox News in 2018, adding that the billions waste on this project could have been invested in our current infrastructure needs such as water storage, flood control, highways, and bridges. How about clearing the forests so you guys can't ignite them the way you have, huh? Some supporters over the years argued the project should continue because millions of dollars have already been spent. Well, why would you want to keep pouring good money after... I mean, it's totally insane. Others said it was time to cut and run. In late November, a state audit highlighted the flaws in the project, which began to pressure on then-Governor-elect Newsom to consider cutting back the construction of the train or make other major changes. According to the audit, the state risked having to pay back as much as $3.5 billion in federal funds. The audit is so damning that it basically says there is no path to completion and has now triggered a federal audit. Assemblyman Jim Patterson, a Republican from Fresno who pushed for the audit, said, You know what they're going to find? They're going to find that billions of dollars line pockets of various politicians. The majority, I believe, will be Democrats. Somebody's got to do an investigation into how so many of these members, these elected representatives, huh, have become multi-millionaires when few had significant financial resources when they entered into politics. Huh? Like Nancy Pelosi, for example, like Diane Frankenstein, uh, Diane Feinstein, like 
I don't know, Chucky Schumer, Rich McConnell. Come on, folks. Absolute bullshit. We need term limits. Two terms, and then they're out. And they don't get a lifetime pension. And they don't get Cadillac health care. Two terms, and they're hasta la vista. And they can't go from one to the other, like Jeffrey the Flake Flake from Snowflake, a total flake. He was a congressman for 10 years. After the third time he won, he said he's not going to run again. And when he did, he was asked, well, you said you weren't going to run again. And that was the first time he was honest. He said, I lied. And then he became a senator. And now he's enjoying a gravy train. Absolutely insane. You might want to repost this in your social media accounts. You might want to pass along to your like-minded friends. Like I said, we probably won't be seeing too many more fires since they don't need to clear the land in California. Thanks for listening.